All right, guys, so in this video, uh, I'm gonna be teaching you some safety tips when you're going to an ATM machine, okay? I posted a video on a fight analysis, I'm not sure if it's up yet, where there's a mugging going on in the ATM machine and the woman handled it so well, she brought her hands up, she created space, gave the person the money. But when you're taking the ATM machine, uh, we gotta look at it from the moment you're outside. So right now, the parking lot's empty, there's one car right over here. Now. Uh, let's say I'm going to the ATM machine now. It's still daylight, but there's not one. There's only one car parked here. If I was about to take the ATM machine and I saw, first thing is scan the area. Is there a car right in front? Are they one person, two people? Are they basically sitting and just waiting? So before you walk into the ATM, scan quickly the parking lot. As much as possible, try to use the ATM machine as the hours are open. The same hours of the bank is the safest time. So you want to avoid going late at night, early in the morning. Now we're, you know, it's about six, seven in the afternoon, sun's down, but I still have a good, I could still see everything around me. So the awareness starts from the moment you get out of your car, you walk to the ATM machine, look around, look inside, is there a line? Who's standing at the line? Is your intuition telling you anything to be careful or anything you need to be in code red of? So, Again, it starts before you walk in. So once you start walking in, let's say, we're gonna go walk into the bank. So the, the first thing, and this is actually my bank TD. So the first thing is they have, they have, a, they have a nice reflector mirror here where you could actually see somebody, if somebody from behind you was there at the same time. So when you come in, preferably make sure it's empty. If you're alone, when you get to the eight, before you get to the machine, the best thing is actually, and I should have mentioned it, have your cards ready. Put them in your hand so you're not here opening your wallet, looking for stuff, putting your stuff everywhere. Because anybody who's standing behind you, you're exposing all your valuables that you have to this person. You never know if somebody walks behind you and maybe he's waiting in line. So have your cards, have everything ready that when you get there, you're going straight into what you need, right? Boom, put in the card. I like to hide my number so nobody could see it, all right? If you ha use the reflector, there's one near two. If you see anything, turn around. If your intuition tells you anything, turn around, keep your eye, take the money, and when you move, and then as soon as you get out, don't sit, don't, don't start opening your wallet, putting things inside, take your cards, put them in your pocket, and get out as quickly as possible. Now, when we're looking at let's say a robbery and a, there's a fight analysis that I'm gonna be posting. Uh, the guy has a knife and the woman takes the money. She created space. Again, are you willing to die for your money? You're in close quarter space. If we're looking at, at a knife attack in this range, it is deadly and very dangerous. So my suggestion is, and I don't, I don't wanna say always give your money, never give your money, but if I'm in a close quarter environment faced with more than one or two attackers and we're looking at weapons, if he wants your money, give it to him. If he wants you here, no problem. Again, like everything I'm teaching, give the money. As I give the money, I'm walking, I'm talking, I'm trying to create distance. Let him, if he wants your money, step back. Let him get out of your space as quickly as possible, right? Don't get into, uh, don't get into fighting, don't get into chasing, don't get into trying to follow him from behind. Again, we're looking at this from many different, different, uh, scenarios right if 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 you're if you're a, a big guy and you're strong and you've done self-defense and i teach knife defense and and i'm alone and i see the opportunity to trap the knife and strike maybe i'll go for it maybe i won't it really depends but what i'm trying to teach you guys through these scenarios are the safety tips that you could do so from being outside the parking lot scanning it having your cards ready going during bank hours if not avoid early morning or late uh, late night where you could always see and people could see you from outside scan is there any cars around is there anybody inside already maybe hanging out just hanging over here then you know and I, I remember this happened to me once I went to the bank machine and there was like one guy there and he's kind of hanging hanging around and there's another guy outside and right away as soon as I walked in I, I pretended like I forgot my card and I walked out because I just I could tell there was a setup or something there that could happen. So listen to your intuition. Be aware. You have an objective. That's to get your money. Go get your money and get out. Don't open conversations. Don't try to like 
open your wallet, start looking at your bills, doing things, take your money, put it straight in your pocket, get out back to your car as quickly as possible, right? Same thing, when you're, when you're in your car, don't sit there again and start looking at stuff and opening your wallet because you don't even know that maybe somebody's outside who's waiting for you to take your money and go outside and attack you in the most vulnerable positions or moments which are opening a door, not being aware, sitting in your car, looking at your phone, looking at the machine. All these moments are moments where we tend to lose awareness, but you need to develop that as I'm doing this, I'm looking here, I'm turning around, I'm taking my money, I'm going where I'm always in a position where I can see somebody and I'm not just oblivious to my surroundings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, awareness is the key. And these little safety tips, what they do is they, they, they help you become a harder target as well. They help you better to be prepared that if at any point I need to strike, I need to go preemptive, I need to defend myself because I have no choice because I'm aware and I'm already, I've already positioned myself, moved in a certain way, I'm a lot more ready to go offensive and defensive necessary. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.